everyone, and welcome back to Bad Magic Plays with your boy, Moldy Kumquat. Now, today I'm bringing to you Grixis Midrange. We haven't seen this deck in a while, but I feel it did pretty good. Um, so we're utilizing Push-Pull here. Um, pull is really fun. You can bring back the Carnosaur. You can bring back Hidetsugu. Um, and you can even bring back, you know, the Appraiser. Uh, the Harvester. Either way, you're going to get these effects to trigger, which is part of what you want. Um, but they also have haste. Um, so you can attack in. But they will die at the end of the turn. Anyway, uh, I do really enjoy Grixis. And uh, I was really happy to have had the games that I had with it. We went 5-2, and two, so I felt that was good. Anyway... Enough with the talking, let's get to the playing. But first, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. A lot of you are watching my videos and not subscribing, so please do. It will help me out tremendously. And most importantly, comment below and let me know what you think. Now, let's get into the games. Alright, I am ready for some Grixis. Alright, so this should be pretty good. On the other hand, it's just too slow. Always gotta be watching out for mono red and boros. Or Celestia enchantments, maybe? or it's just you know, there's not going to be any real better time to play the card. Okay, there's a big one. Go ahead and swing in here, see what he does. Nothing. I still have absolutely no idea what this guy's doing. Okay. Lots of lands. Very interactive. It's one of those lands deck. But so, like, what does that mean? Is he just gonna sit here and play lands until he's dead? <laughs> now he's not really doing anything. Okay. Sure. I might just win this game out of pure ignorance because I don't know any better than to swing with my 3 3. <clears throat> okay. This has got to be one of those lands. Lands. Decks. I guess we'll just keep swinging. Could really use uh, another land. Oh, we got some Shigeki action going on. Bring all those 
really slow, useless cards back. I, I feel like if I would have had more than just the Corpse Appraiser here, this game would be over. Here's my other land, so... We can bring the Carnivore down next turn, unless he's playing with counters, which I have yet to see any evidence of, other than blue mana. Charming. I guess Neva Nevar Evol stands for uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Something about not actually doing anything during this whole game. Okay, so now I can't be countered. Let's get us a just a little dinosaur down here. Not a big deal. <clears throat> Does nothing. So it's like this guy's at three. What are you doing? At this is the time where your deck has to show us what is it supposed to be doing. Like, what is the combo here? Nevar, evil, other than Shigeki charms. Okay, we're still doing the same thing. What if somebody just, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, so, um. Take these shigekis. Nothing else I can do at this point in time and I still have no idea what he's doing. Okay, all right. Cool story. Another charm. Hey, there's another charm in your graveyard. I want to go get it. Hey, hey, okay, so this is good because I can play him here and put a couple things in the graveyard that'll do the damage. Let it go, I guess. We'll, we'll just take a chance to see what, what we got. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't have made it disappear anyway. Hopefully, we got something big. Three minutes, th something that costs three, baby. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Something that costs three, baby, off the top. Let's finish this out. This guy is uh, literally not doing anything. That's two. Okay. There's another Haidetsugu. I don't know what I'm doing there. Thought I was discarding all of a sudden. Um, Alright, so this should do um, the push pull. Should do eight, I believe. Should do eight damage. So if I can get Hide at Sugu down, and he tries to kill it, I have the means, or you know, I have the means to kill it myself. We can do eight two, and I don't think he can gain enough life to stop that. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Here we go. You gonna counter? Okay. But are you gonna kill him? Please do. 
Just kill him. Come on. Come on. You forgot that that second card is the one I put on the top from the last. I do. Okay. Yeah, you gonna kill him. Game over, GG's. GG's, good sir. Nevar Evil. I love Haidetsugu. I really miss using So it did six. Alrighty. So Haidetsugu and push pull is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm thinking uh, these two lands here. It's, hmm. Well, we'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. You know, we've got we could play everything in our hand but the Shieldred, so that gives us some and there's a land, so see? We are good at this game. We just guess and our deck bails us out. Alright, so I'm gonna play this, go ahead and set it up for my Shieldred, and that'll give me two untapped mana. If I need, especially if, if this guy gets gets pretty big, or if he plays something I I don't want to deal with, I can. I've got answers. Okay, um, let's go ahead and catch him. I just don't like the way that guy looks. To be honest, he's just too casual sitting there on the street side, looking sus. Let's go, 19. How many times do you think I'll say let's go? That's probably it. I wonder if he's 19. Or. Okay. Or maybe, uh, maybe somebody named 19. 19. Parents. Give you a thing. Oh, she oldred. I will never play you in paper because I'm not paying 80 bucks for something that uh, isn't sticking around much longer. Alrighty. <clears throat> so he's just decided that. All right, we're going. We're just going to play cold. Let's see. I think. Uh, I think I'm just gonna chill here, you know. Uh, leave some mana open. anyway
mean, I'm pretty good to just chill, you know, and put a board down. Because he's not going to. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let's see. Yeah, the not going to help me. Um, yeah, he's not going to kill me next turn or come close. So I'm still at 21. My shield root will just I can go seven turns if I want to. I've got answers for what I need to have answers for. Yeah, I probably should have went ahead and killed the blessed uh, in response, but it's no big deal. What are we doing? Let's go. Got the bat. Well, I'll go ahead and kill the place now. Yep. Yep. What are you going to take, bat? Probably the carnosaur. Probably the carnosaur. Obviously, he's got to think about it, though, first. You know, the Carnosaur is the only thing that will kill the bat. Usually, people that play bats take things that can kill the bat. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be back. And we're back. That didn't take long. He just know he just needed to go do something for his for his mom or something. He's getting parent aggro. Mom's downstairs going, let's go, we got we're leaving. Shut up, mom, that's just my username. Mom's just standing there like, what? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Are you there? We're searching. Hello. All right, well, I guess uh, we'll be back again. And we're back, but uh, I don't think he is yet. I don't think he's coming back. I, I am going to stick with his parents said, get the fuck off that game. And he left. The only other alternative would have been that he just realized he was... Or he's still here. I, I don't get this. Like, I don't get it. Is he just trolling, maybe? I don't want to think that. I don't want to think people do that, you know. Uh, but, uh... That is a little weird. So we are attacking in. Um, because he has to do something. So, we're, we're not going to kill him here, but I got old Haidetsugu. Is he going to be the MVP two games in a row? I actually fucked up this. Go 
ahead and just play the shield um, just because he's still at 10 I want to get him down I mean I have board presence he, we've wiped pretty much his board um, okay so I, I, I have to think maybe he's trolling now so we <laughs> will be back again. I'm so confused. Let's go. I'm so confused. Like at that point, I would have definitely expected you to leave. And we're not going to let Amalia come down. No. I'll get rid of this corpse appraiser. Back at the timer. <clears throat> Maybe he just needs all of this time to think. His plays are very hard. Okay. Hey, he's still giving it a giving it a go. Still giving it a go. back because it's the most damage swing in with shoulder because he has to block oh I guess he doesn't have to block it'd be better for him if he okay he's not blocking so all we gotta do is kill the hide Sugu or wait doesn't matter this guy is toast let's go your mama called for you she said they're leaving get to off that game but he said no even though you are a distraction mom I will not get off this game I will play till the end but I will make sure I time out every turn because even if I don't win, at least, I will take away something that Moldy could never get back. And that is time. I can never get these precious few minutes back, and neither can you all. However, I have shortened it for you. Because when I cut this, I'm going to cut those timed outs out, except for this one because this is going to be the explosion one, I believe. And I've been talking this whole time. And I know you want to hear my voice. Boom! Get out of here, let's go! Come on! Game number three. We'll just get rid of the push-pull here. I have enough answers in the early turn and more shuy ultras is always good well that last game was something man i just don't know why why people have to you know time out like that is especially if it's clear you're doing it for I just realized, oh, I don't have a, well, I just realized I didn't have a blue until I drew that. <coughs> Looks like we are playing against Quintorius Khan. I am obviously the, the more uh, enlightened, learned version of Quintorius. You can tell by my 
perky ears, glowing skin that has nothing to do with my skin care, and uh, obviously the glowing of the eyes, meaning that I have reached a place this peasant of a Quintorius Khan did not reach. So I guess he's playing Mono White Control. Um, yeah. Little little Mono White Control, but uh, I'm happy with where we're at. I'm happy with where we're at, even though. Well, uh, let's see here. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and try to push some more damage. Um, I'll still have enough to take care of anything he might try next turn. Or just take care of the Wandering Emperor right now. Should have known that was coming. I just said he was playing. And he scoops. That was just too much for him. Alright, so we're coming off our first loss. That was, uh, that was a little rough. But, can't win them all. Looks like we got a uh, little mono black action here, maybe. Maybe. Could be, uh... Golgari could be, but doesn't look like it. What are you gonna take, Luis Carona? Okay. It's fine. That is fine. Bye bye, baddie. Goodbye, baddie. You gotta take what's gonna kill the bat. Because you're just gonna trade those cards anyway. Alrighty. Little Yog Moth Praetor action. More trumpeting carnosaurs. Tell you what would be cool, and, and this is a cool thing about this, is the whole push-pull with Carnosaur. Because uh, you can use Carnosaur, you know, for this uh, three damage. It's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just pull him back later. And uh, get those benefits. And swing in the same turn. Chances of him, him sticking anyway. Alrighty, look. At this. So it looks like I'm not even playing against a standard mono black deck. It looks like it's just a, uh, you know, one of them like skeleton. I'm just gonna stop talking because every time I, I talk, I put my foot in my mouth. skeleton so it can't come back get our hide at Sugu and Kyrie and win this game or maybe I'm being a little presumptuous but I'm calling it I'm putting my money on Luis because it's a point spread Take three. 
see. He gets a car if he wants to take a damage. Okay. Three damage. Okay. Here comes Kyrie. Hi. And not the best pulls. So we'll uh, dump this shit here. Gain all our life. Beating the spread now. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. All right, I think uh, I think we'll just hold here and uh, hope he kills our Kyrie, because then he's dead. All right. All right. Or he doesn't do anything at all, and I just swing in with my Kyrie, and he's dead. Sugu's down there uh, dealing with Fjoldred throwing a fireball in her face what are we gonna do Luis <clears throat> is this gonna be another one of those uh, I played my cards and now I'm just gonna time you out out of spite like it's real easy to hit settings and then go to concede I'll look for him hello Luis are you there all right we'll be back again and we're back there he goes I don't know guys I don't know why they do Uh, coming off another loss, guys, and it's like, I'm learning a pattern here. If somebody times me out, the next game I lose. So if this guy times me out, we'll probably be done. But honestly, uh, I will say this is probably my last game anyway. Uh, just because I have some things I gotta do. And we have, you know, we played a good, I think this is game number seven or something like that. Willow Geist, okay, so interesting. I think our hand is fine here. I can't play that make disappear. I've had that issue a few times. Uh, not with make disappear, but with just blue mana in general. So I may have to look at the mana um, of the deck and, and make sure I have enough blue. I'm gonna kill the Willow Geist here just because um, I don't want him getting out of control and I don't really have anything in hand to deal with that. Carnosaur is not coming down anytime soon, so. And, you know, I've got the pool. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just draw a card and hopefully get a blue mana. Like so. Too good, too good, too good. It's Change the name of uh, of the channel. <clears throat> I just suck in person. <laughs> These days, they always do. Slogurk is the man, the myth, the legend of the hour. The mighty Slogurk. Sir, you're playing Simic. What are you gonna do about this shield? Down at the torches. Yep. Take it. Goodbye, Sloger. It's the first time we gotta use push. And we'll go ahead and get rid of the tortoise as well. So. Looking good. Looking good. All 
right? attack in because it's going to force him to block um, I mean it's not going to kill him but getting him to 7 and then having shield or drop 2 on him next turn uh, is really going to put some pressure on him here so as you can tell with the thinking going on <laughs> God please don't don't let him time me out again uh, okay okay good that's that's perfect. Um, yeah. Go ahead and end the turn here. And, uh, yeah, just, I, I think we win this game. Trying to use the pump up the sloger. Just seems like not really enough. Yep. All right. I can honestly just sit on Shieldred here, uh, but she also provides a blocker for the Sloger. Um, obviously, I would have just been pounding into him, probably, or, uh, uh, you know, he may have even chump blocked, but I wouldn't have got there this time. So the next turn, I can I can bring in, like, the Carnosaur and the other Haidasugu and just, uh, you know, over the top win. He may even, you know, try attacking in here. Um, in which case I can just kill the sleeper. Uh, I just don't see him doing that though. Well, yeah, he might. Alright. So that's like, uh, that's fine by me. on the top so that if he gets killed it automatically kills him but I don't think it matters because it's about to win the game. Don't think yeah, there he goes. GG's Alright everyone I really hope you enjoyed those games because I did other than the timing out but uh, I really like Grixis I, I like this collar combination and uh, would really like to see this deck make a comeback. But um, anyway, if you've made it this far into the video, I absolutely appreciate you. And if you haven't liked or subscribed yet or commented, please consider doing so. Because like I said, it really helps me a lot. And I am now in the phase of trying to grow the channel. So... Um, Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a most wonderful rest of your day. Take care, my friends.